One of the big mysteries of the internet over the past few years has been the suspicious banning of Dr. Disrespect from Twitch. Dr. Disrespect, if you don't know, he's a very popular, like, streamer. I believe he mostly streams, like, Call of Duty or first-person shooter games. Now, I was personally never really all that interested in, in him. Like, he plays a character on stream where he's, like, this very animated, almost, like, action hero type character, and... Don't get me wrong, I've seen clips and I, I know that I found pretty entertaining, but when it comes to like YouTubers and content creators that I watch, I tend to gravitate towards people that feel more like they're just being themselves. You know, like me, for example, generally speaking, am I a little more animated than I am in real life? Sure, right? Like I, I definitely do the thing where I have like an animated face and then the second I stop recording, I immediately go, I turn off the camera. I saw, just, just to be clear, I'm not I'm not trying to shit on him or his content. Uh, to an extent, we're all playing a character. But generally speaking, I'm going to prefer to watch people that are just kind of real people, you know, as opposed to outwardly playing a character. But he's been massively successful, so good for him on that. And yeah, everybody has just been wondering, what did this man do to get banned from Twitch? Now, before he was officially banned from Twitch, he was actually suspended because he walked into a bathroom uh, during a live stream. I feel like it should be common knowledge that you just probably shouldn't record yourself in a bathroom because other people are, like, doing things in stalls and urinals and it's, like, a private thing. I feel like that should be common sense, but, I mean, as I I've been talking about over the past few videos, to actually, uh, influencers are not the brightest bunch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're at just the lower IQ level than everybody else. But yeah, I think it was an, an especially big deal because you could kind of see a child in the background when he was doing his live stream. And it was just like, no, that's weird. Even if it wasn't a part of Twitch Terms of Service, I'd be like, what are you doing, sir? <laughs> but anyways, back in 2020, he was permanently banned from Twitch, and he's never been allowed back since. Now, he did do a stream before he was banned, and he was acting really weird <laughs> during it. Like, you could just tell that something was off. He seemingly knew that something happened and that Twitch was going to take action. And then right before the stream ended, he was, like, giving, like, this weird motivational pep talk of, like, guys, we're champions. We're going to get through this. Bad stuff is coming, but we're, we're, we'll get through it together or some weird shit like that. Okay. Okay. Who's it? I appreciate who's everyone who's watching today. Who's it in the backyard? Who is going to be looking? We'll, we'll get through. We'll get through this Champions Club. Uh, it's, yeah, I know it's a tough... To, uh, because I don't know this one well. Life's weird right now. I... Oh, my God. Well... We'll get through this, okay? And, uh... Hey, Christopher. Dun, dun, dun. You better not taunt me. How dare you. <laughs> Fuck. You get to try <laughs> and we just never learned what happened. Because <laughs> clearly something did, but we just never knew. Until today. Or yesterday, as of recording this. You know what I mean. So... There's this ex-Twitch staffer called Cody Connors. He put out this tweet that says, he got banned because got caught. So not exactly the best spelling here, but anyways. He got banned because got caught sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. Case closed gang. So, he just shit this out. He farted this out in the wind and on the on the internet, and everyone immediately was like, "Oh, he's sh he's talking about Doctor Disrespect." Oh 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 gosh! Apparently, Twitch Whispers was like some feature that Twitch implemented for a limited time where you could like privately message, I guess, friends and even your own followers and subscribers on Twitch. Now, something that needs to be said up front is that this Cody Connors guy does not provide any receipts. He doesn't provide any of these text messages. He doesn't provide any videos or anything like that. He just said this on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. And the only thing he said after that is no one made the wrong decision. Fuck him and his boys. And in my opinion, this is kind of irresponsible. This is a very serious allegation 
like you 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 can't just allege these things of people right like if you're going to do something like this you need to have evidence ready and prepared and you need to come out with the proper evidence uh so i will say up front maybe this is true maybe this is not true this cody connor's guy not doing a responsible job of actually you know coming out with it so after all this blows up there's this guy called jake lucky who he tweets out a former twitch employee has come forward and stated the alleged reason for dr disrespect's permanent twitch ban being for sexting a minor in the previous twitch whispers product so you know He's being a good little reporter on Twitter. He's just stating the facts of what was alleged. And Dr. Disrespect, he didn't respond to the Cody Connors guy. Dr. Disrespect, he sees he sees Jake Lucky, you know, just stating what happened. And he was not about that. <laughs> he had this to say. Jake, seriously, I get it. It's a hot topic. But this has been settled. <laughs> <laughs> no wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole contract by the way <laughs> what is this response this is such an unhinged response if i'm being wrongfully accused of something my first response would probably be to uh deny the wrongdoing like flat out say hey that didn't happen he starts, like, accusing the Jake Lucky guy of tweeting this out for clout or whatever, you know, by saying, like, it's a hot topic. To be honest, this is always, like, one of the most worthless responses. Like, yes, anytime somebody's tweeting something out, anytime I'm making a YouTube video, to some extent, I am doing it for clout, right? You know, I want to grow on the platform and whatever. But to, like, point that out is just, like, a meaningless response. It's like, is Jake Lucky wrong about anything? Is the Cody Connors guy wrong about anything? That's what you need to respond to. Whether they're doing it for clout or not is irrelevant. But then he says, this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole contract. So just notice how within that statement, at no point does he say, I never sexted with a minor. <laughs> he just says that no wrongdoing was acknowledged, right? Because they settled. From what I understand, not a lawyer, when somebody settles in court, it just means that uh, both parties are coming to some kind of agreement where, you know, a charge isn't going to be pursued. That doesn't in any way mean that the guy didn't do it, <laughs> right? Settling stuff oftentimes is done with the purpose of covering things up so that these things don't play out in the public eye. <laughs> so you saying that you settled, again, doesn't mean much in this situation. And then he weirdly adds on to the end of it. Um, and by the way, they paid out my entire contract, which is like, and <laughs> what does that mean? Like, that's just such an insane thing to add. It'd be like if somebody accused you of like, uh, murdering an old lady and you're like, okay, hold on. Just to be clear, I got paid last week. <laughs> not, not what's being asked. Nobody asked <laughs> who asked. <laughs> So, I don't know. It seems to be the case that whenever Dr. Disrespect gets in hot waters, he starts acting a little unhinged. <laughs> Again, it's not proof of anything. It's just something that I've noticed here. Now, after the internet unanimously went, uh, brother, we're going to need a little bit more than that. Uh, Dr. Disrespect put out a bit more of a definitive tweet here. He says, listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is the effing internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was found. And I was paid. Again, I don't know that I really care about the paid part, but congratulations that you're, you, you make money. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Elden Ring Monday. Although to be fair, he might just be arguing that if he had done something wrong, then he wouldn't have ended up getting paid. So maybe that's what he means. Although again, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of times when companies settle with people, even if the guy did something wrong, they still end up getting paid because of various reasons, right? Like if he was using the Twitch whisper thing 
to sex with a minor, Twitch maybe doesn't want that aspect of it to be publicly known, right? That makes Twitch scummy as well, but it doesn't necessarily disprove that Dr. Disrespect did the thing. A lot, a lot of things to consider here. But of course, the question that needs to be asked here is, is that it? Is there any other evidence? And there isn't necessarily any hardcore evidence, but there is some tangential comments that other streamers have made that I do think is interesting. So there's this guy called Rod Breslau. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's like an esports guy. Way back in 2020, he tweeted out, Look, for several hours now, I have been told from credible sources the reason Dr. Disrespect has been banned. However, due to the importance and sensitivity around the subject, I have refrained from going on it. I don't feel comfortable with it currently. And then now on uh, June 21st of 2024, he simply said, I didn't lie. So here we have one guy who's basically going, yeah, I, uh, I, I heard that this there was some shady stuff going on here. And now this next one is very interesting. So there's a streamer called Destiny. Um, he used to be on Twitch. He got banned from Twitch. But on his podcast, Anything Else, his co-host apparently straight up brought this up. And, I, and it didn't really spread anywhere. But he makes very similar claims to what this Connor guy is saying. Destiny makes a very interesting joke. <laughs> But over two Dan, decade long career, please, surely, please I, surely my word. Well, Dan, it's, it's been a long time. Please but, tell us. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's a long so time. It's so long that the okay. person involved is probably okay now. Uh, yeah. it, which, at least I interpret that as a joke about saying that the person was a minor, but no longer is a minor. I, right after that, his co-host says that he had heard from people that Dr. Disrespect was banned because he was messaging minors. My memory is really bad because this was like two years ago and I was in Outpost buying a mini copter. Okay. And I remember someone saying, Doctor's Disrespect got banned from Twitch because he was messaging underage Whoa! girls on Twitch. Why he said that? <laughs> Wait, what? That isn't, that's not it. <laughs> We're about to learn all about the DMCA what process the now. Through that's what I, I'm saying, what I heard in Rust. Why did he say that? Why did he say that? He must have heard it. Am I not allowed to say what I heard in Rust? <laughs> his DM, Damn, that's insane. His crew on Rust said. is that's wild. Insane. I'm sorry. If, I, if, I, if, I was, if I'm the duck, I'm suing you right now. Well, I would right actually that. sue you. Well, I, I, and right when he says that, Destiny starts saying like, "Oh shit! Like, what are you doing? You're 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 acting wild here." <laughs> but it should just be noted that right when he says this, the other guy at the table, who is their guest for the podcast, uh, Richard Lewis, he's also like a Twitch streamer, esports guy. I don't, I don't. I don't know who these people are, okay? Sorry. <laughs> he says, that's not it. You know, he starts saying, like, why would he say that? Why would he say that? And the last thing that I have here is Destiny himself going on stream and saying that he has also heard these allegations behind the scenes. Um, he doesn't go into any specifics and he doesn't confirm or deny anything. He also, like, makes sure to clarify that he's heard all of this secondhand, although he says that his sources would be people that know. I don't understand for the Dr. Disrespect stuff. Um... I feel like I've heard for so long people say that they were worried about like potential lawsuits or whatever bull bullshit. Uh, I don't know why they ever felt that way. I'm not sure if there's like some other part to that story that I, I just didn't hear, but um, this story has been known since basically Dr. Disrespect got banned. Um, I'm surprised that it's been under wraps for so long, considering I think about a year ago, I started to hear about it from people that I wouldn't expect would keep those secrets, but yeah. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's gotta be more to it, but who knows? Now you're confirming this or is it all secondhand? I don't know anything firsthand at all, but I've heard people that should know about it firsthand. Talk about this for years, years. Um, since he was first banned, right? Yeah. You can't just say this and then go offline. Uh, listen, it's not my story to tell. Okay. <laughs> also, who the fuck knows? Um, who knows what's true or not? It wasn't any of my original investigating. Just stuff that... Stuff that I've heard uh, for a long time, though. So, who knows? So, yeah, there's just, like, another piece of the puzzle here. At the end of the day, can we say for sure that Dr. Disrespect sexted with a minor? No. There simply is not enough evidence to prove that to be the case. So, 
I'm not going to run around and say that we should be canceling Dr. Disrespect. The only thing that hopefully happens at some point is that actual evidence comes out and proves it to one way or the other. That being said, you don't just ban Dr. Disrespect for no reason. So you have to assume that something happened. Maybe it was something that wasn't as extreme uh maybe he can confidently say as he does in his follow-up tweet that you know it wasn't anything illegal and that it wasn't it there wasn't any wrongdoing maybe it was just some other terms of service thing that he broke i mean it's we don't know for sure and because we don't know for sure uh the public service announcement that i guess i'll express to all of you is that don't run away with anything you don't have evidence for you know you you, you, you don't need to come to these conclusions. You don't need to hold these opinions firmly. You can just say that, hey, this is a little sussy-wussy, but at the end of the day, we just don't know. And that would be the smart thing, so there there's that. I don't know. Don't listen to me, I guess. Or do, do whatever you want. Go be crazy, okay? I'm the jokester. I'm the jokester from the Dark Knight. I want to watch the world burn. So go make all of your... Uh, allegations and accusations that you don't have evidence for. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Bye. <laughs>